Welcome in, guys, to the stream. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all well. It's Friday. I've not done a stream on a Friday for ages. Um, but that being said, very happy to see you all and welcome in. Um, how you doing, Paul? How you doing, John? How you doing, John? How you doing, Lee? And uh, let's bring up our... Very happy to, very see, happy you to see you all. Welcome in. Welcome in. Well, that's me. Um, who else we got? Who else we got? No one on YouTube at the moment, but that will change. Good evening, Tim. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, guys, welcome in. It's really good to see you all. Um, good evening, Linda. How are you doing, Linda? Welcome. Um, welcome in, Mum. Welcome in, Paul. I'm on YouTube. Ian is on YouTube. How are you doing, Ian? Shane is here. Welcome in, Shane. So today is Shane's stream, guys. We owe Shane two streams because he's won two Wordle competitions. And I've just not got round to, to doing a stream for him. So it's good to see Shane here on YouTube. Welcome in. And uh, tonight we are singing all the songs that you choose. So we have the list. Um, John Bath is here on YouTube as well. Hanana, welcome in. How are you doing? Welcome in, Ian, on Twitch. Welcome in, everybody, to the stream. So it looks like we're going to be starting this evening with, I was going to do, I was going to open up with No One Loves Me Like You for Shane, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like we should start with Dear Daughter. Vinicius, welcome in. Daisy Wazy, how you doing? Haven't been able to join for a while due to work. Very happy to be here. Oh, no problem. I'm always here. I'm always here. So it's good to see you back. Um, Barry is here. How you doing, Barry? Yeah, it's good to see you all. Thank you so much for joining me. It's um, a pleasure to have you all here in the chat. Marco is here. Um, yeah, welcome in. I, uh, I've been warming up a little bit, so it should be good to go. So Shane's only sent me 10 songs. We do usually do 15, Shane, so let's so get some others ready just in case. Jenny, do you ever do streams with only your own songs? Um, I used to. I used to have like originals only streams, but I think it's better just to at least do a couple of 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 covers, just to kind of keep people interested who might not know my songs necessarily. Uh, you need to change your screen messages. Do you mean the prior? What? What? Were, what? What messages do I need to change? my screen messages explain what has Shane done that is good he won the wordle competition this month Paul so if anyone doesn't know what the, the wordle competition is we have a discord and every month you guys basically fill in your month your blah, blah. I can't ever explain this very well I don't know do you guys know what wordle is we have like a wordle competition every month in the in the discord if you don't know what wordle is just google it um basically you put, you put your wordle in to the discord every single day and you get uh, points based on how many guesses you get it in a closed list because it should be closed yes thanks lee um i'm not sure i can be humorous i made myself last last night <laughs> and it ended up being in AFib with my heart for 20 hours because I laughed. Oh. Thought people couldn't request. They can't. Do you mean the priority request only? I do tend to keep that on. Uh, in fact, yeah, we should take that off. I usually put that on. I should, uh, I should say request off. That's what I normally have on. Let me find it. That's the one I normally have on. I can't move anything while I've got the sticker thing on. Okay, right. Uh, El Elias Smith, welcome in. What's up? I'm gonna start a song, start with a song called Dear Daughter. We have the dogs with us this evening. 
So I guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Called dear daughter thank you guys ah <laughs> oh, thank you john thank you ian evening jenny how you doing malcolm we are on the way to making you an international singing star at your two may shows i have tickets for i will purchase i will purchase uh i can't see what that says because of this a yo uh i will purchase a new take a new new cd Thank you, Malcolm. Thank you so much. Right. Hannah, welcome into the uh, Discord as well. It's a great place to be. I do also have a Facebook group, guys, which is very active, which is, uh, we're all getting excited for the tour. 
Um, very excited to for that. Um, so yeah, if you if you're interested in getting excited for the tour, then we're doing that mainly in the in the Facebook group. That was the first of ten choices by the lovely Shane. That was called Dear Daughter. I'm gonna do my immortal next. Thank you so much, Daisy Wazy. guys it's called my immortal 
Um, Chill out, I'm proud it shows Jenny. Thank you, Mum. Thanks for the gift sub to Daisy Weezy. Woo! Um, da -da -da. Chill out, I'm proud it shows Jenny the merry month of May. Wonderful rendition, Jenny, of My Immortal. Thank you so much, Malcolm. Ian is our. And Ian is Ian R. Jenny is a real gem. Oh, Jenny, so fine. Thank you so much, Malcolm. I really appreciate it. She has her moments. <laughs> oh, one way to get you on a live stream, let you win the wordle. <laughs> oh, it took me a while to find you on here, YouTube. It started. I started on Twitch, then kick. Very confusing. Um. Hmm. Should have started all at the same time. Um, Roman, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you, Shane. Hi. Uh, no worries, Carl. Um, oh, I've just realised I've, I've got no water. Is it bad of me to like ask my stepdaughter to bring me some water? I think that's bad, isn't it? I think that's bad. Right, it's bud. You okay. <laughs> She'll be fine. They are great kids. Ah, oh, straight away. Yes, Jenny. Brilliant. Um, Jenny, you would totally kill if you learn Joan Baez's Diamonds in the Rust. You know what? A lot of people have asked me to sing that. Maybe I actually should just listen to people. Um... That's not bad at all. <laughs> it, it feels bad. It feels bad. It's all right with Simon. I'm like, Si, bring me coffee. <laughs> and he always does. Um, ah, no water, yeah. Best get ready to. I had a bit of a disaster this morning. I was um, getting out of my car and I had my bag over my shoulder. And I had like my favorite like cup in the in the side pocket of the bag. And it fell out. It fell out of the bag and went under my car and I couldn't get it. So it's still there probably on the road. Luckily it was only one of those ones from, you know, the reusable cups from Starbucks. Ah, she's a little legend. She's a legion day. <laughs> That's what she says anyway. Um, I remember I came second four months ago in a row. You actually did that. It's actually true. <laughs> right, I have water. Mm. It's great water. She did well. Uh, Incomer, welcome in. How are you doing? Dress skirt. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to say. Yes. Yes. For the, I, I've reached the age of 30 before I actually bought a skirt for the first time. <laughs> And I'm trying to wean myself into it, guys, so... Yeah. Refuel and go again. I will. I'm going through a little bit of an identity crisis at the moment. It's not a dress, it's kind of like a... Like a 
skirt type. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a vibe, guys. It's a vibe. That's what I keep saying to myself. Give us a twirl. <laughs> that was literally a twirl. Anyway, I need to learn for most of the stream. Oh, no worries, Incomer. I appreciate you being here. She used vodka by mistake. <laughs> she'd, she'd have a job finding some vodka in this house. Oh, thank you, Clive. Yeah, I'm going through a bit of an, of an identity crisis, guys. Can't lie. In fact, I've been going through an identity crisis since I was a child. <laughs> I just have. Um, but yeah, I feel like this isn't the first skirt I'm going to, the last skirt that I'm going to buy, to be honest, because I'm, I'm loving it. It's so free. Never seen Jenny in a skirt. Looks nice. Tattoo is next. I don't know. I feel like if it was ever to get a tattoo, it'd be something like small that you couldn't see. Um, bin bag next, as per Debbie Harry, maybe. <laughs> what? I need to Google that. But yeah. No tattoos. I don't have a single tattoo. I am tattooless. Mainly because I just, I'm, my problem is I get bored too quick. So I would probably get a tattoo and then hate it within like a week. Um, in fact, there's only one tattoo in my whole family. In fact, probably, I don't even, possibly like, there's only one. I think I can only think of one tattoo in my whole family. And that's small. That's a good thing. That I'm tattooless. Looks good, not the usual that I know, but new is good. Yeah, yeah. Fear of needles. No, I don't have a fear of needles. In fact, I actually like, really like needles. I actually enjoy getting needles in my gum. <laughs> like, that's not a lie. I just do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think so. No tattoo is a great thing. Yeah. No tattoos. Not a one. Very pale. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm not like against tattoos or anything. I just, weird. It is weird. It is. I know. I've got loads of needles if you want some. <laughs> okay, let me explain that. I guess it's not a thing of like, I like them, but I certainly don't dislike it. Enjoy needles in your gum. Please do. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. I think it. I think what it is, it's a defense mechanism. It's like, like when they come at you with that needle, I'm like, yeah, pain. Is that weird? Maybe that's weird. I don't know. It, I am a bit weird. Be different and don't get one. I don't have any plans of getting any tattoos. So I don't think I've ever had plans of getting any tattoos. Um, I got my ears pierced and took them out. The second it healed, I took them out and then it kind of healed over. And then I got this piercing, which is my ear. You can't really see it very well, but I actually really like that one. Other than that, I have like no piercings or anything, but I am thinking of getting these redone. For so unique in the needle gum sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of getting the, this is part, I don't know if this is part of the identity crisis, but like I got my, um, I, don't know, I feel like I, maybe I would suit it. I don't know. I got these guitar string pendants made with my guitar strings, which you can get at shows, guys. If you come to a show, you can buy one of these. Um, but she also made me like one set of earrings, which I sold. But I kind of like, I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like I'd suit it. I don't know. I just going through. A, I'm going through a weird phase, guys. I had earlobes pierced, pierced decades ago, but the holes have sealed. Yeah, mine, mine have sealed over too, Paul. Like. I have kind of like little tiny, like kind of like little lumps there where they've been left, but like so small, you can't even like you can barely feel it. Get all the tattoos you want, just so at the end of the day, you can wash them off, lol. <laughs> yeah. You can get like henna tattoos just if you're going through a bit of a phase. Yeah, that would look cool. Yeah, I, th I, th I think so too. Them type earrings, like the loopy type ones. I have no idea. 
Um, this came with my recommendations. Didn't realize I was already subscribed. Looking at your previous video, I'm thinking probably song by performance. Love the song. John S, welcome in. How are you doing? Sorry, I should probably sing. I've been talking for like the last five minutes. Well, probably longer than that. Bet Shane is wondering, so this is what a Wordle stream looks like. <laughs> kind of. Sometimes, Shane. Uh, Gum Needle, new death metal band. Idea. It's an idea. Maybe that could go with like the whole identity crisis thing. I don't know. Okay, we're going to sing another song for Shane. Um, so tonight, guys, we are doing a word, our Wordle win the stream, which means that all requests are being selected by the lovely Shane on YouTube because he um, won our competition this month. So unfortunately, there's no requests uh, other than Shane's. Right, that was my uh, my immortal. Let's go with No One Looking Like You. We can test the skirt with the with the guitar. It's a vibe, guys. It's a vibe. Where's the... Oh, uh, always the good old Hawkwind needle gun. What's that mean, Tim? As you guys know, this is a song that usually has a big band on it, so... And an orchestra. So if you're wondering why it doesn't sound exactly as it as it would on, on the record, it's because I don't have that with me right now.
Christine is here. How are you doing, Christine? I saw your message and it was a video and I was like, is that a video of me? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it is. It's a video of me. Christine, how are you doing? Christine is like my soul, like sister. I can only, I've never met anybody in the world that is more like me than Christine. Christine, welcome in. How are you doing? How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Um, still on course to run as a moon in June. Oh, I don't know. Right. So I started off doing like the park run a couple of, like how long ago? I did two and I, you know what I think it is? I think I have this like, because it's 5k and I only do it once a week or only did it once, <laughs> once a week. I think it's because it's like quite a distance and it kills me like that last 2k just absolutely kills me. I, I think if it was like 3k, the park run, I think I'd do it. I'd do it every week. But because it's 5k and that last 2k just like absolutely kills me off. Because I'm just, I, I don't have time to exercise. Um, I'm so busy with music and work and things. I just don't have time. And I feel like also running isn't necessarily something that I enjoy. I've been doing kind of stretching and a little bit of weights at home. Like I've been doing that like every week and I enjoy that. But the whole running thing, it just doesn't feel like, I don't know. Like I actually don't mind like the first bit, but like after it gets like, to a point, I'm like this. I, I'm bored. A, I'm bored. <laughs> um, and B, like, wow, this hurts. Also, it's like chain. I've heard that it's really not good for your joints. And I don't know if you know if you have some research that tells you it's great, but I don't know. It's kind of just kind of one of them things that I feel like. Sixty-five part runs total. Bomb of part run. Oh, amazing. See, honestly, like I think anyone who. Oh, that was my funny bone. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Um, anyone who can do it, I think amazing. And if you enjoy running and so many people really enjoy running, so many people do, it's just not something that I enjoy. I can't, I can't make myself enjoy it. I think also I'm, I'm a quite, I get bored very quickly. I need to be doing something different. Like even when I'm doing weights, like I literally don't even get through a set and I'm like next. <laughs> Where running just makes me just, I'm like, oh, not only is it difficult and it hurts, especially out, outdoor running. I was fine on a treadmill weirdly. I could run for like an hour on a treadmill at one point, but now I'm like, I don't know. I'd, ab I'd absolutely love to do a 10K run, but only so I could say I've done it. <laughs> Not for actually doing it. Um, I really want to do it though, Shane, just because I don't want to be like, I don't want to let myself down and not do it. But like, that's a month away now, isn't it? Or just, just over a month away. I uh, wish I could see you on tour. Oh, Fuba, welcome in. How are you doing? JP is here. Welcome in. Um, running for me. I need a ball to run after it. Tennis, basketball, my sports. Oh, amazing. I love football. I'd play football all day. Um, But it's kind of weird just to kind of go play football on your own. <laughs> but yeah. Interested in your guys', you guys' thoughts. That made no sense. Your thoughts on running. What is your favorite form of exercise, guys? Let me know. Tell me if there's something I should try. But at the minute, I'm really, really enjoying just stretching and resistance bands and like light weights. That's as much as I can kind of make myself enjoy. Also, I kind of like use it as like a meditation. So Christine, incense. I have been like using so much incense of yours because it just kind of makes me zen. Also, there's something really, really kind of something. I don't know how to describe this without sounding crazy. There's something incredible about lying on the floor and stretching. I just feel so at one with myself. Does anyone, anyone else have that? Anyone do yoga or anything like that? And just like being so close to the earth or the floor just makes me relaxed, like more relaxed than anything. Tell me, tell me guys. Cycling for me, but running as long as earbuds playing rock music. Fair. My post was supposed to be twice as long, but I got bored. <laughs> Sounds like me. Badminton, good exercise. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Running just isn't fun. It isn't. I can't make it fun, guys. I'm tr I have tried. I just can't. Martial arts. Amazing. Before COVID, I was an indoor rower every day. So if I, uh, again, that rowing just 
not for me, Daisy Weezy. I've tried that in the gym. Running, especially early hours, great way to start the day. Oh, cool, Shane. Honestly, I'm so jealous of anyone who just loves running. But it kind of just stresses me out. And I get to Friday and I'm like, oh, I've got back. I've got back. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to love it. I want to love it, but I just can't. And I don't know if it's just that whole thing if you need to get past a certain point of fitness, but I don't have that in me. I don't have enough time. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I ride a bike and a Harley. That's cool, Fuba. Um, I can hardly walk. Oh, you know what? And that's the thing as well. Like, like I feel like just moving is anything, if you know what I mean. And especially if you're someone who's not ne not particularly mobile, like just doing anything is better than than you know not not. <laughs> that makes any sense. Anyway, Ian running to see Jenny live would be fun. <laughs> you two should arrange that. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing a song. I'm gonna do a song called Dirty Town. A song that I regret titling Dirty Town. I should have called it something like Senses in My Body or something. I don't know. <laughs> time catching all these butterflies stuck in my mouth the words I want to say to you will get enough and I lose my mind the senses in my body take me away apart I feel it in the ground in every single Walking past my window in the dead of night Love me out Away from all the feeling in this dirty town We'll make a wooden boat so we can sail it out I'll never let them see me turn around You found your voice No to hear a baby making noise Sit and be quiet There's a corner over there for you to child You've lost your mind The faces that surround you get you every time You medicate the pain but it's just sitting tight You wake up from the dream and you Get to the roof so you can hear 
dirty town. Yeah. Thank you, Fuba. Thank you, John. I just realised I've put I've got so much reverb in my ears, my ears that my guitar just sounds like reverb. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's right, Paul. Yeah, I, I do write most of these songs. All the lyrics come from me. Um, obviously, we there's a, the odd cover in here. Thank you, Shane. Thank you all. Yeah, that might make me run, but in reality, I'd just plan ahead and walk. <laughs> Always got an answer, Ian. <laughs> but fur. Um, thank you, Carl. Thank you, John. Thank you, Mum. By the way, guys, if you're wondering who I'm talking to, I am multi-streaming tonight. I am across three different platforms. So that's probably who I'm talking to. <laughs> Somebody on another platform. Love the lyrics, make, really make you listen. Ah, oh, thank you. Right. Oh, it's called Dirty Town. Let's do Fallen Angels while we're here. Walking is the new running, in my opinion. Yeah, I like walking, to be fair. Um, not sitting. <laughs> I do like walking. In fact, I keep meaning to like start walking to work again. I used to do that, but... Right, we're going to do a song called Fallen Angels. If anyone doesn't know this song... There is a, a command in the chat, exclamation mark, fallen. I profess it. <laughs> it's fur. Don't ignore Uber. <laughs> there is always that as well. Yeah, the lyrics are, let's not fight, let's unite. We are fallen angels tonight and we are, we're beyond the wall. Guys, this is a new... In fact... A lot of these songs tonight are on my next album, which is coming out, guys. On the 3rd of May, you can get a copy of this. You can pre-order this now on Bandcamp. Bandcamp only, guys. You can pre-order a copy of this. And it'll be with you probably actually for release day because everything... I've got these the vinyl coming on Monday. This is obviously just a test press. Uh, but, yeah, this is... This is coming, guys. It's coming! Look, it's real. It's it says it says my name on it. Look, Jenny, see. And if you guys want one of these, like I say, you can. It's also on CD and digital as well. Um, the bundles we've already we've closed the date for any bundles, but you can get the music bundle except uh, sorry except the music bundle, which is the vinyl, CD, and digital. So that's what you can get, guys: vinyl, CD, and digital, or all three at a discounted rate. Um, but yeah, I am very close to 100 pre-orders, guys. So if anyone, 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 anyone wants it, please, I'm so close. Also, helps a lot. Really helps. I want cassette. You're probably the only person, Lee. And don't all in the chat now be like, I want cassette too. Oh, JP, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining us. Told you international chat on your live stream now, UK friend, Finland. Ah, oh, amazing. You guys are awesome. What does that mean, Clive? Peppy is here. Welcome in, Peppy. Lots of cassette. <laughs> Genuinely, anyone in the chat buy cassettes? Genuine. Genuine question. 
This one's called Fallen Angels. Get my reverb right tonight. What is going on? Oh, it's so dry. That's why. That is why. Two. Okay. Thank you, Zen. You're trying to trigger people in the chat. <laughs> uh, Blondie, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Thank you, Shane. Thank you for sharing your love and soul with us. I appreciate the company. Uh, I do have... I do when I have a reason. I like having things on a hard drive. Ah. Killing me softly. Wow. Strumming my pain with his fingers. <laughs> 
Singing my life with his words. Even with that comment, Lee. Ooh, the vinyl, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Super excited by the vinyl, guys. Can't lie. It's just something really intriguing, kind of actually watching your music being physically amplified. I don't know. I'll show you again. It's because it's so pretty. Also, guys, you guys haven't really seen the back cover much. Look at it. It's pretty cool, eh? It's got the shiny, the shiny sleeve thing on it at the minute. But yeah. I want to squeeze it, but Ian will shout at me. <laughs> right. Does it smell vinyl-y? I don't know. I don't know what vinyl -y is. QLP, thank you. 70s prog rock style. Well, I mean, there is a bit of prog. I have been told that I am a bit proggy. Maybe not with the songs you've heard so far, but there's definitely some. Blondie, thank you for the sub. Walnut shell. Is what a walnut shell? <laughs> Let me know what you mean. Um, Ian love her loads of music personality. Ah, oh, thank you, Val. You're too sweet. Amanda, welcome in. Progressive house. Looks so good. It does, Ian. It's a. Uh, it's just like a daily reminder of how cool music stuff is. <laughs> I'm su super excited to get them all on Monday. I was meant to get them today, but there was a bit, a little bit of a delay. But I'm getting them on Monday, and the CDs should be coming next week as well, guys. So it's everything's, everything's happening. I'm, you know, just buzzing. Can't wait to play this final. Thank you, Chris. Ah, oh, guys, I'm buzzing. Let's do God the Father. This is a song off my Something Beautiful album. This was my debut album, guys, so if you've not already got that, then you should. <laughs> you should go get it right now. That's not on vinyl, unfortunately. Although maybe one day, guys. What do we think one day? What's that, Lee? God the Father? Do you mean God the Father? Okay, this one's called God the Father and uh, this was probably one of my favorites off, off the Something Beautiful album.
guys. It's called God the Father. And um, it's, uh, like I say, one of the tracks on my something beautiful album. And yeah, just, I love that one. I love performing that one. Um, don't forget press like button. Thank you, JP. Yeah, guys, if you've if you've not already pressed that like button, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you do so. Also, make sure you subscribe to the to the channel. You will get notified when I go live. Hit that bell notification, um, etc. You guys know the score with YouTube. Um, we need to get rid of that capital T in that title. It's stressing me out. Stressing me out. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. <laughs> it's not really stressing me out. A little bit. Thank you, Blondie. Um, oh, Linda or, or somebody, could you share this in the... Could you share the YouTube link in, into the JC Streamy's Facebook page? Um, Peppy, unfortunately tonight requests are off because we are doing our Wordle winner stream. Um, if anyone wants to, the opportunity to win an entire stream's worth of songs, please go onto my Discord and basically enter the competition for the Wordle, which means you have to post your daily Wordle in the Wordle discord channel i'm very aware that a lot of people might not know i misread the title as the godfather <laughs> i'm very aware that not everybody will will know what wordle is it's a it's basically just a daily i guess word game um in which you complete and you have to post it on the wordle channel and you'll get points depending on your score you'll see guys google wordle Wordle, wordle, wordle. It's a really weird word to say. Wow, keyboard perfection, Jenny. Thank you, Paul. And also, Paul, thank you so much for all these bits. I keep forgetting to say thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, four, six, six times. I miss... Oh, I've just seen that. Uh, is that better? Is what better? Is what better? Yes, much better. Thank you, Lee. Sorry I'm late. I was eating Chinese takeout and winning... I'm winning carcassonne. I don't know what that is. Welcome in, Adrian. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> It's just like school, but fun. It is. Thank you, Ian. Oh, we have a cool piano song next. I was waiting for a cool piano song. This was called My Design. And guys, this is my design of life and how I recognize that it's not an easy world to live in. And I guess how I would design the world. There is a rumble section in this. Get your goth eyes. Let's do it.
my design probably the most fun song ever to play out of all of the songs i've ever written that one carcassonne is a type is a tile game and you make cities roads and rivers oh my god that sounds amazing i'm all about board games guys love them power and emotion hits you for long that's the idea um i'm glad that you guys like this one and this one is on the album guys you know the album do i have to show you again do I have to? This is out in like two weeks. Two weeks today. I'm going to stop moving it so rapidly. <laughs> it's shaking around in this thing. But yeah. It's track number nine. I know the album. But do you? This thing? By the way, guys, it's also being toured around the UK. Did I tell you that? Come on, poster, work with me. It is being toured around the UK all over those dates. Have you got your tickets to this tour yet? It starts in like three weeks, guys. Three weeks, something like that. Was my design difficult to record? Yes. Very much so. <laughs> Some of the some of the tracks on this album were quite difficult to record actually. But I'm very happy with the final final one. But can you see that guys? What? A tour? So it goes like this. Sheffield on the 9th of May. Bury on the 10th. Liverpool on the 11th. Bradford on the 12th. Northwich on the 18th. London on the 23rd. Southampton on the 24th, Milton Keynes the 25th, Leicester on the 26th, Birmingham on the 27th, Colchester on the 8th of June, and Cardiff on the 9th of June. If you are anywhere near one of those, like even if you're like 100 miles away, you need to get to these dates, guys, because this is a full band tour. I don't play with the band very often because it's so damn difficult. <laughs> so just saying, there's just not going to be that, that many opportunities to see this. Um, let's have a look. New album, new tour, exciting times. Very much so. Have you ever toured the USA? I've never toured the USA. Just not that famous yet, Fubar. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Hello from Durban, South Africa. Welcome in, Louis. Welcome in from South Africa. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Looking forward to the t-shirt, DVD, London and the little rabbit barn. Barry, amazing. Posters up for sale. They will be. I have loads of them. I will be selling them. For about three quid. Have you an album out soon? I have an album out soon. Two weeks today. Pre-order is exclamation mark preo in the chat. Make sure you do that. Can't wait Liverpool London for me. Eek. Anyone else? Guys, come forth with your dates. Come forth with where you will see me. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Like, it's unreal. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't sleep at night. You can always jump on a plane. You could. Linda does. <laughs> this time with more ray guns. Exactly. Guys. What? What is it? You know, come on. I'm doing my best. I'm your free USA rep. Amazing. I'd love that, Blondie. If you could help me in any way. <laughs> it's anything. Just sharing the stream is, is super helpful. London and Southampton. Amazing, John. Berry for me. Roman. <gasps> Amazing. 
So excited. So excited. And guys, if you come into the dates, come over and say hi at the end because I want to say hello to you guys because it's just everything is online and it's in my heart. It's so real, but I need to see you. I need to speak to you guys. Also, it kind of just makes me feel really cool when I'm signing loads of CDs. <laughs> I can't lie. Only Barry so far, but looking at a few others as can't do Liverpool and Bradford. Ching. Ah, you know what, Shane? I'd love to see you on all of the dates. <laughs> uh, but I totally understand if you if you if you can't if you can't. I'm coming to Birmingham. Yes, Tim. Get in, Tim. Multiple locations, I suspect. <laughs> I'll see you, Ian. I'll see you. Right, where were we up to in the list? We've got three songs left. Shane, do you want to put another two in? Put them in the chat and Steve will pick it up. I'm going to do this one. A song called Without You. This was the first single on the album. I ever told you about the album. <laughs> it's called Without You. It's a bit of a sad song, guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It goes like this.
go guys that's called without you i've just realized i think i've missed something <laughs> oh mom i'm so sorry i missed your 10 pound tip 24 minutes ago i'm so sorry i've just seen it then i was like oh there's a tip and i've missed it mom thank you so much i love you lots like jelly tots and in fact, that doesn't even do it justice, Mum. Doesn't even do it justice. I do like jelly tots, especially the ones that are really like squishy. You know when you get jelly tots and some of them are like quite quite hard and other ones are quite like squishy. The squishy ones are just so good. I love you more than them ones, Mum. Like, like the really squishy ones. And it's like the same when you go to McDonald's and you get like the chip that's like squishy. <laughs> I love them. Anyway. Chris is here. How you doing, Chris? Welcome in. How is things? Uh, Jenny's webpage, maybe... Help? Huh? Let me go back. I've missed some comments. Mums are better than Jelly Tots. They are, to be fair, yeah. Like, quite a lot better. Let's go back. Let's go back. Or just like I can't find a lot of it. Not being really apologetic. Really <laughs> we have merchandise. We have merchandise. We do. I also do lyric sheets, guys. Handwritten lyric sheets. And I've been doing some of them recently for some of you guys. If you anyone wants some handwritten lyric sheets, they are a bargain. I'm not going to lie. You can get like three for like 20 quid. <laughs> and um, yeah, go on Bandcamp. Jelly Tots equals are uh, better than Jelly Babies. I've got to agree. I was finally able to find it. Had an age old, old age moment. <laughs> oh, guys, I, l I love you all. Gummy bears. Mm. No soft jelly tots when I was. I can't read the, the comments at the bottom because it's like a big love heart in the way. I have to wait for the next comment. The ultimate compliment to a mum. Squishy. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? I don't, I don't think I said that. I said, she's better than the squishy jelly tots. <laughs> she is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Quite like it. Yeah, I mean, I worked hard on that compliment, guys, when I was young. Are you sure, Shane? Not even one? There's usually at least one in a pack. Great lyric sheets, great handwritten, no photocopy. Yeah, no photocopy, it's all signed. It takes me ages, not gonna lie. Because <laughs> I like them to be right, you know? Oh, thank you, Marco. Right. Let's keep going. Ooh, some nice ones in there, Shane. Something beautiful next, though. This was the title track of that first album that I was speaking to you about before. Day that I fall 
into your head away from it all are you happy to see me walk down this road but i know guys oh, back's killing me now um oh thank you carl i was trying to work out if i can fit in your liverpool gig next week but i don't think i can oh that's that's a great venue that's a great venue so i think you should <laughs> i think whatever plans you've got <laughs> scrap them <laughs> i'm only kidding i'm not thank you shane thank you chris We're always taught it's important in life to have goals and to strive to be better. What they don't always tell you is it's important to have different paths and different journeys. I can't remember the next line of this, but if I just keep talking in this voice, it'll sound like I know what I'm talking about. Are you wanting to feel more beautiful? You could give two pounds a month to a Jenny in need of some tour funds. And you could be the most beautiful version of yourself. With a 
something I said. <laughs> so serious. It's it is very serious. You know when I did that, I thought that was gonna go down like a lead balloon. <laughs> and it was the most awkward, awkward part of the studio. It was the most awkward part of the studio journey ever. Because I was talking in my witness accent as if I was like something like some sort of incredibly knowledgeable, wise woman who doesn't have a clue what she's doing in life. I don't have a clue, guys. I'm winging it really bad. <laughs> but if you sound like you know what you're doing, people will listen, guys. And that's actually quite scary. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Adlib is all you need, very nicely handled. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ian. See, that this that's Marco, you've not listened. Marco, you've not listened to what it says. The beautiful part of who we are is doing what we want to do, being the people we want to be. You can be the person you want to be, Marco. Please. Believe in yourself. Love yourself. I promise I've not smoked anything this evening. <laughs> oh, we've seen that many times over. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Great. I, I, I really wish I, I wish I knew. I don't think anyone knows what they're doing in life. If you're somebody who thinks you know what you're doing in life, put your hand up or like give us, give us some advice, guys, because I've not got a clue. I've not got a clue what I'm doing. I just want to sing, you know? I've always wanted to sing and tell stories. I keep playing with my hurt because I'm not used to it being so straight. <sighs> I kind of feel like Avril Lavigne. Anyway. I want to be Superman. Who mm. mm. needs to get your new album for sure? JP, yeah. I think you should. <laughs> Did you have it straight in? I've had it cut. I've had all of these layers put in and it like these bits keep like going in my mouth and stuff. I know what I did wrong. Her looks beautiful. Thanks, mom. I can't stop doing that though because it's like so flappy. 45 still waiting to feel like an adult in control. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I gave up thinking I had an idea in my 20s. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm getting there a little bit with life. I'm going through this bit of identity crisis at the moment, can't lie. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Um but I think that's normal. But I feel like I've been going through this identity crisis right up until well, I'm still going through it, but I don't feel like I've ever I've ever really known. And I think that's why my albums are so like my genre is so like varied and it doesn't fit into a thing because I don't I don't want to just be one genre, guys. I was speaking to someone the other day and we decided that my genre is an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> that's my genre. It is what it is. And um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, then that's really sad. I think it's an illusion and we're chasing something that doesn't exist. Exactly. As you grow, you change. Yeah, you do. You do. Like, I would never have thought I would buy a skirt. Like, if you don't ask me, if you'd have said, Jen, you're going to buy a skirt. In fact, I had one skirt. I remember I did a gig in one skirt and it was like the most uncomfortable gig I've ever done. But this is like long. So I'm like, yeah, it's flowy. It feels more me, you know. Um, But this is the first skirt that I've actually like wanted to buy. It wasn't just like to be something, if you know what I mean. But I don't know. it's kind of more like a kilt 
You can buy a kilt. Oh, whoa, that was really weird that Paul's just said that. You can buy a kilt when you are in Scotland later on this year. I don't need to do that. <laughs> I've got this one now. Yeah, I'm 47. I feel like adulting has abandoned me. You're doing great. Stay on it. Thank you, Ian. Wedding photo, wearing a skirt. Oh, yeah. No, I, that, I borrowed that. That dress was borrowed for that occasion. It's not a skirt. It's a dress. I actually really like that dress. I think that was a vibe. Right. Oh, using a capo for the first time this evening. Four children and ten... Is that grandchildren? The guitar has arrived now. We need to see the doggies. <laughs> They're in the house. Yeah, a little bit, John. To be fair, I did that for years too. <laughs> This is um, a song that is a cover, the Lady A um, song. This one's for Lovey Shane. They're all for Shane. <laughs> um, he said he's never he's never heard me play this one. I don't even remember ever playing this one. I've probably played it, but I don't remember it. This one goes like this. Such a perfect man, scattered all around the floor. Reaching for the phone, cause I can fight it anymore. And I wonder if I ever crush your
Need you now. Lucy's loving this, Shane. Ah, oh, thank you, Shane. Incomer! Incomer, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the £25 tip, Incomer. You're, you're a legend. Thank you. Uh, please. Oh, it's a word of winner stream. On the next stream, please let me know if there's a song I can sing for you. I'm sure John will remind me that there's a priority there. No pressure, John. <laughs> Tokyo, welcome in. By the way, guys, if you've not followed me on Kick and Twitch, make sure you do so. Thank you, Mal. Thank you. Bloody well done, Jenny. Thank you, Fuba. Is that how you said it? <laughs> right. Let's do Soldier in the Modern Day. Jenny playing the beat blues. <laughs> We're gonna do a song, a song called "Soldier of the Modern Day." This is my favorite track on the. Well, in fact, this is my favorite track ever of mine. But it's definitely my favorite track on the Lost Animals EP, which came out last year. We did a tour for that, guys. That was great. Shout out in the chat if you were on that tour, Louis. Thank you. If you were on that tour, if you were at that tour. Um, but yeah, it's a song called Soldier of the Modern Day and it's a song that is written about, you know, them times that we're just angry at each other. We're so angry as a species at each other. And it's, it's, it's easy to sort of go, eh, we shouldn't be angry, but we live in complex lives and I guess this is my outpour of, of grief for that. The fact that we have to live in this society and feel like we have to be angry at each other. It's called Soldier of the Modern Day. Is anybody out here? Is anybody hearing us? Is anybody round the corner? Is anybody alone? I wanna be a soldier.
It's called Soldier of the Modern Day. What time are we on? Shane, do you want to stick another couple in? Thank you, Zen. By the way, guys, my Spotify at the minute is doing really, really well because I've been accepted for quite a few cool different playlists that I've been pitching for. It's the most playlist I've ever got on a, a track pitching session ever. Like, by quite a way. And um, at the minute, it's doing really, really well. And if anyone wants to aid in that, if you want to follow me on Spotify and just listen to my music... I have lots of tunes on there, guys. Look at it. It's full of music. Just so much. So much music. And um, I'd appreciate it. And if you've got playlists and you are somebody who listens to playlists, then please either listen to my playlist or add my music to your playlist. I'd love that. It's also Friday, guys. So give some love to those indie artists who are releasing music today. This will be me in two weeks' time. If you've got Spotify, go and listen to your release radar. It might not even be independent artists. It might be some of your favourite bands that are signed. But I promise you... There'll be some great music in that, in that playlist. Even if it's just one song, it's worth listening through. The live shows we can whistle along. <laughs> you can. Oh, thank you, John. Yeah, follow me on socials, guys. Also, I'm very, very close. In fact, I've not done half, hardly any... I've not done hardly any self-promotion on this stream. <laughs> also, guys, I am so, so close to, like, 3.5k followers on... You can't even see that. On Instagram. I need seven more followers. So if you've got an Instagram account, even if you don't use it, <laughs> help a girl out. Follow me on Instagram. But if you do use it, Make sure you're liking all my posts, sharing me, and you're commenting, and you, you guys do enough for me, but if you can do anything else, please do that. Uh, I have fear, Shane, that I won't be able to do I Won't Let You Drive now, because I can only sing that first. <laughs> Malcolm's messages are all getting retracted on YouTube. Stevie, thank you. <gasps> guys, we're five away. And the last thing I'm going to ask you for is, guys, if you don't want to pre-order the physical copy of my album, please pre-save it on Spotify. There is a link somewhere, Lee. <laughs> if you could pre-save it, Malcolm is deleting them. Ah, okay, fair. That's fine. Um... Or their web links for. But yeah, if you want to go and help me by pre-saving, I don't even know what we're on. I've not really followed it, but I really should have been putting more effort into promoting this. I put a lot of effort into the pre-order campaign, but not the pre-save campaign. <laughs> Which is crucial for Spotify. So yeah, guys, go and pre-save my track. Sorry, my album. My track. It's got 23. <laughs> Which is the same as the last time I mentioned it. It's that bottom link, the hype edit, Jenny Colquitt staring at the moon. It's not Bank on Friday today. Oh, do you mean my album? Yeah, my album's out on Bank on Friday. Of course it is. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, this one's called Feel Inside. Don't forget, guys, all the requests tonight are for the lovely Shane who won this competition. So I'm not taking requests for anyone other than Shane, unfortunately. But I am back on... On... Where am I back? Oh, I don't know, because I can't see that because it's so... 
Guys, tell me when I'm back. <laughs> this one's called Feel Inside. that Paul is a robot. <laughs> we knew it all along. <laughs> I bet you Paul doesn't pass Capacha tests. <laughs> it's like it's like when Buzz goes into like Spanish mode. Have you seen it on? <laughs> oh no! Exposed! <laughs> oh. Ra Ram Ranch Planet, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you. Darth Rips is here. How are you doing? Grumpy is here. How are you doing, Grumpy? Right. I seem to be missing. Ah, see, that's what a robot would say, Paul. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know. Uh, scroll up. Yeah, scroll up, Paul. You'll see. You'll see what we're talking about. Um, Adrian, oh, my niece is enjoying your music. Oh, thank you. I also went into Spanish mode, not Spanish mode, into buzz mode in that in the middle of that song as well. So. I've uh, been censored. Only joking. <laughs> it's like, that's just too, Malcolm is just too kind. We can't allow for this amount of kindness in the world. Have you played Poet on the Street yet? Another very fine song. Um, not yet. 
I don't even know if Shane knows that song. Um, are you actually deleting them, Malcolm? Or is it genuinely just deleting you? Oh, Mark, welcome in. How are you doing? Thank you. Does not compute, does not compute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we knew it all along, guys. We knew it. Jenny, I am a ro also a robot. <laughs> Genuinely though, I don't pass capacha tests. It's probably not even saying it right. I don't pass them. Ever. In fact, I once failed, I think like 12 times and I had to get somebody else to do it and it worked straight away. Just saying. I'm reposting from Paul. <laughs> oh. Paul, if you look if you look up above, something happened. Posting, I have no idea how it showed up. We know now, though. We know. <laughs> Yet this is about one. What happened? Yet, yes, it is about that one. What ha yeah, what happened? It's not going to be revealed, guys. <laughs> I think I am a robot, though. Anyway, <laughs> that was feel inside. Right, we're gonna do, we'll do one more. We'll do open pages for the lovely Shane. Just to finish this off guys, um, don't forget Instagram. I'm also, I'm back on Twitter guys. I, I came off it for a little bit, not fully, but I'm an Everton fan, so it's not a great place to be. Um, but yeah, I'm on Twitter or X. Maybe that was a sign. It was like, don't come on. <laughs> I'm also on YouTube, as you can tell. Um, but if you're watching on any of the other platforms, like on the other platforms, help me out, guys. Also, pre-save, guys. I'm really behind, like seriously behind on pre-saves. My aim is always 300. I never get it. Um, but if I could get 100, I've only got 75 to go. 76. You just say capture. Oh, capture. See, I don't even know what it is. You realise this will keep me awake now. Oh, no. I think you just copied and pasted something, Paul, by mistake. Or something happened. Um, But it's definitely not worth losing sleep over. Getting the action slapping. Oh, don't worry, Paul. It's, it's nothing to worry about. Yeah, cap Capture? Capture? Capture. Capture. Right. Ah, uh, Shane. You wrote another one as well. So we need to sort that out. We definitely need to sort that out. Um, we can't do pop on the street, guys. It's Shane's, it's Shane's stream. We're doing one more. We're going to do a song called Open Pages. Yeah, someone able to share the pre saves link with Hannah. Jerry wasn't about wasn't sure how to yeah, I didn't I didn't I had no clue. <laughs> what was I saying? Capacha? <laughs> I actually prefer that though. What is going every How you doing? Edge? Goes like this. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, it was a sub. Stevie, thank you so much for the five sub, the five months. This is called I. Uh, this is called open pages. I am still. See? 
Pages. <laughs> I really love rocking out to that one. And that was the last. That was the last song. Sorry, we not, we didn't quite get to fifteen songs, Shane. I did talk quite a bit on that stream, but I do talk quite a bit on all of my streams. So, yeah. Right. We are gonna go. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh, I love you like jelly tots. Oh, Christine, it's been great to have you in, in the chat today. And um, wishing you the best. And yeah, all of those peaceful vibes from me to you as usual. Um, Thank you so much. Whistling Divine too. 
Thank you, Malcolm. But yeah, right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go and host raid, and we don't do anything on YouTube, but we're gonna say bye. <laughs> um, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for your bits, tips, subs, and everything that supports me. It keeps me going. Basically, you're paying for my fuel on the tour, so I appreciate that. It's really really helpful. Um, for me, it's just very helpful, and it get, it helps me. Get me and my band across the country to see you all. So, appreciate you all. Um, thank you, Carl. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Adrian. Hugs for everybody. Um, thank you, Shane. Once again, congratulations, Shane, on winning the word. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Once again, sorry for rabbling on. Um, Adele and Andy are on both. Absolutely, let's go do that. Um, Pauline. Ah, oh, Pauline. Sorry, I didn't, don't think I saw you in the chat. But I appreciate you being here. Um... Good night, it was a really fun stream, just what I needed after a mad week. Oh, thank you, Tim. I am back on Monday. I thought I was back on Sunday this week. I can't see it because I've got... Oh, can I? Oh, what date is it? Oh, no, I'm back on Monday. And I was meant to be back on Wednesday, the week after. But I can't lie, guys, it's the Derby. So I'm not going to be back. Because I'm going to be watching the Derby. Probably for my sins. I might regret it. But I'm going to do Thursday instead. So the 24 stream is moving to Thursday. So let's see what platforms I'm on. Oh, actually, will I be able to... Yeah, I'll be able to do that. I've got a gig on Friday, but I'm just going to take it easy. Um... <laughs> no, Ian. We don't, do, we don't say that. Um... So, yeah... Monday I'm back on Kick and Twitch, then Thursday Kick and Twitch, then Sunday the 27th on Kick Twitch and YouTube. So if you're one of these people who doesn't like Kick and Twitch, what's going on, guys? But I will see you on the 27th. <laughs> Everton will win. I reckon if we say it enough times, like just like you've done there, guys, if we say it enough, then maybe we will. We need it more than you. <laughs> I hate them all. I hate football. That's fine. You can. Nope, backlash coming. <laughs> it's fine. I get it. Do you want to have... Yeah, we're going to go and see Adele and Andy, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, just bear with me for a moment. I'll be with you in a sec. Let's do that. We'll do the host first because it always looks really cute when you do the host and then the raid. I don't know why. This is where I can't host people because I've not got enough viewers. I have. I've got 14 viewers, so why? Also, DJ Stevie, thank you once again for that resub on kick. You're owed a VIP request, friend. I'll do that on the next stream for you. Which is Monday. We're going to go and host the lovely Adele and Andy. Let's do that now. We're also going to go and raid the lovely Del and Andy. Let's do that now. Don't forget, guys, pre-save. Please. <laughs> and follow me on Instagram. Very close. Let's start this raid. Thank you once again, guys. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. And um, don't do anything I wouldn't do this weekend. I will see you all soon. Have a fantastic rest of, of the weekend. People on YouTube too, I will see you very soon. Once this raid has gone over, I'll say bye properly. Oh, thank you, Malcolm and JP. Take care, guys.
Good night, YouTube friends. I'll see you on the 27th. <laughs>